Hi guys, you're tuned in to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at I Am Church London. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all major streaming platforms. May God bless you. Shalom everyone, may the Lord bless you all. Welcome to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast by I Am Church London. I'm your host brother Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. Shalom to you all. For those of you joining us for the first time, I offer you a warm welcome in the name of Jesus. I pray that this wonderful prayer experience may empower you and also contribute positively to your own prayer life and to your home in the name of Jesus. Shalom to you all. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please invite your families and friends to join us. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. And please also follow us on all the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Shalom to you all. Thank you very much for joining us. So for those of you who have been up to date, we have been doing prayers on alliances, covenants, soul ties. And in our Sunday services, we have been covering Exodus 20. And we've been looking at the Ten Commandments. And just in case you missed it, we basically mentioned that the Ten Commandments are instructions that God gave to his children, the children of Israel, shortly after they left Egypt. And the Lord gave them these commandments through his servant Moses. And we also mentioned that the first four laws that he gave were based on our relationship with God. And the following six laws that he gave were based on our relationship with others. And why did God give his children these commandments? He gave it to them because he didn't want them to perish. He didn't want them to suffer. He didn't want them to be enslaved. God wanted them. God wants us. God wants you. God wants me. He wants all of us to serve him, to worship him. He wants all of us to live rich and satisfying lives. He wants us to receive the gift of his salvation and the free gift of eternal life that he has given to us in Christ. So... Just in case you missed it, this is what we have been covering on the Sunday services. So I'm just going to take some time to also continue just doing a little recap on these sermons here on the podcast. And we're also going to use this moment also to pray and to cover our other prayers that we are also doing. So shalom to you all. We are going to do the opening prayer and we're going to get started. Let's close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your word says where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be there in their midst. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word says that man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word which proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit this moment of prayer into your hands. And we pray, Almighty God, that may this word that we are about to receive, may it be a lamp, Father, to our feet. May it be a light to our path, Father in heaven. And may your word sanctify us, Father. And may we receive more faith, Almighty God, through this word in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I invite your Holy Spirit to come and take control. May your Holy Spirit manifest his power through this prayer and in our homes and in our lives in the name of Jesus. And may this word that we are about to receive be stored in our hearts. And may it never pass away. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shalom to you all. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So if you can hear me, please just kindly drop a 10 out of 10 in the comments, please. So as I was saying before, the 10 commandments. So God prophesied to Abraham. He told Abraham that his descendants will be slaves in a foreign nation for 400 years. And he also prophesied to Abraham that he was going to deliver them. And as we mentioned in our Sunday services, God promised Abraham that he was going to deliver his descendants from Egypt. And Egypt's dearly beloved is the representation or the spiritual symbol, according to the scripture, not of Cairo, that's in Africa, Egypt, Africa, but Egypt in the scripture represents our origins. It represents our blood, it represents our source, our roots, where we come from. And when the scriptures refer to Egypt, it's basically referring to prisons, it's it's referring to slavery, it is referring to idolatry, 
all the evil practices from our origins, the false gods, the idols, is referring also to the curses, the condemnations, the laws, the alliances that we battle on a daily basis. So when, let's open Exodus 20, so we can just read the scripture. Exodus 20, and we are going to read from verses 1. This is our main text that we are using. Exodus chapter 20 from verses 1. So this is just a quick recap for everyone who missed out. And we're going to basically incorporate the prayers from the two. So I'm going to read the NLT version. Exodus 20 verses 1. Then God gave the people all these instructions. Verses 2. I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. You must not have any other God but me. You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind or an image of anything in the heavens or on the earth or in the sea. You must not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God who will not tolerate your affection for any other gods. I lay the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family is affected. Even children in the third and fourth generations of those who reject me. May the Lord bless his word. So this is Exodus 20 verses 1 to 4. This is basically the commandments that God gave to the covenant community, his children. So as we can see here, when verses 2 says, I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt. In our Sunday services, we basically mentioned that God is basically trying to say to us, he's basically trying to present himself to us as the Lord our God who rescued us from our origins as the lord our god who rescued us from our blood our roots our family prisons the family slavery the family idolatry the evil practices he is the god who rescued us from the false gods the idols all the curses all the condemnations all the laws that is attached to where we come from so this is basically the promise of deliverance that god gave to abraham he gave it already before it had even happened so the first commandment as we mentioned in our previous uh, services on Sunday the first commandment is telling us not to have any other God other than the creator of the heavens and the earth so in this world today we are encouraged to have other gods we are encouraged to make idols we are encouraged to bow down to these gods that we have made we are encouraged to worship them And when I mean gods, I don't just mean like gods or statues that you see everywhere. I mean gods of our money, cars, clothes, possessions, careers, our achievements, our social media personalities, our friends, entourages, whatever, etc. We are living in a world today that encourages us to put God in second place. So another scripture that we covered in our previous sermons was Romans 12 verses 2. Let's open Romans 12 verses 2. So this, dearly beloved, is Apostle Paul's teaching on how to be a living sacrifice to God. I'm going to read the NLT version. So it's just verses 2, but let me just start from verses 1 and go down. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you, to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. So verses 2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. May the Lord bless his word. So I'm going to also read the NIV version. 
I'm just going to read verses 2 of the NIV version. So the NIV version says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by renewing, by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. So may the Lord bless his word. So as I was saying before, that the world that we live in today encourages us to put God in second place. It encourages us to put our achievements first, to prioritize this, idolize this. It prioritizes, it encourages us to focus on our money, our cars, our clothes, our careers, our social media personalities, whatever it is, whatever distraction that the enemy has put in place today. So in our Sunday services, we are basically learning that our origin wants us to conform. Our origin wants us to conform to the patterns of this world. Our origin wants us to follow the patterns of this world. And Matthew 6, 24 says to us that no one can serve two masters because you will either love one and you will hate the other. So our origins, where we come from, they want us to serve two masters. They want us to prioritize everything that is worldly everything that does not give God glory. They want us to put this in first place and go put God in second place. They do not mind us praying. They do not mind us reading the word of God, meditating, but they do not want this to be our priority. Our priority has to be worldly things, cars, money, clothes, possessions, achievements, anything that will pass. Dearly beloved, Peter is saying in uh, second book of Peter chapter 2 verses 19 you are a slave to whatever controls you so whatever you allow to control you whatever you allow to dominate you whatever you put in first place whatever you prioritize whatever you conform to dearly beloved you are a slave to that thing but God rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and he transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son So he rescued us from sin. He rescued us from the laws. He rescued us from the alliances. He rescued us from the curses, the condemnation. And he basically transferred us into the kingdom of his son. The kingdom of his son, which is a kingdom of freedom, a kingdom of grace, a kingdom of eternal life, a kingdom of victory. And Apostle Paul is saying, now that you are free from the power of sin, and have become slaves of God. Now do those things that lead to holiness and result to eternal life. So one must understand, if I want freedom, I want eternal life. I want to experience God's grace. I want all these good things, but I want to prioritize my money. I want to prioritize my achievements, my personality, my cars, my possessions, all these other things. In the time of trouble, in the time of despair, are any of these things that I've prioritized, are any of these things that I've put in God's place going to save me? Will it deliver me? Will it rescue me from death? Will it save me? That's a question that we must always ask ourselves. I'm not saying to anyone, don't go and make money. Don't get yourself a car. Don't get yourself any clothes. Forget about your career or your social media or whatever your achievements. I'm not saying that. But what we need to understand is that the enemy can turn these things into distractions. And these distractions, dearly beloved, can be used as coping mechanisms or things that we chase constantly that divert us away from the things of God, that divert us away from the word of God. And before you know it, you'll be chasing these things and chasing and chasing and chasing. And if it means that whilst you're chasing, your prayer life is dying or your prayer life is being suffocated or you're not feeding your prayer life or you're not nourishing it, before you know it, it would have been too late. The enemy would have already come in. The enemy would have already stolen or killed or destroyed something. So, dearly beloved, let's put God in first place. Let's prioritize God. Let's prioritize his word. Dearly beloved, distraction is a killer of dreams. When I mean dreams, I don't mean dreams like when you go to sleep. I mean your visions, your goals. 
those are the dreams that I'm talking about. You need to be honest with yourself. Do a self-analysis or an evaluation and begin to list or write down or identify all the things that distract you, all the things that consume your time. Dearly beloved, you can't do big things if you are distracted by small things. It won't work. Because another thing that people forget or people do not pay attention to is that distractions may help you. Sometimes it's good. Actually, it's not good. No, distractions sometimes, yeah, it can make you forget about your worries, your anxieties, things that are bothering you or concerns that you may have. But the thing is, these same distractions can also be the source of these worries. It can also be the source of these anxieties, these concerns that you have. So it's like a double-edged sword. It's just bad. We just need to prioritize God. We just need to put God in first place. Distraction can also come into your life dressed or perfectly decorated as love or attention when it's in fact a distraction. It can also come into your life as a job opportunity. It can come into your life in different forms as a sum of money or achievement or something but when it's in fact a distraction so we need the wisdom of the holy spirit we need the holy spirit to guide us we need the holy spirit to enlighten us and give us understanding remember you are a slave to whatever you allow to control you but dearly beloved these things are only effective when there is no solid prayer life so do not neglect your prayer life And do not put God in second place because whoever puts God in second place has given God no place at all. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you very much for those of you who joined us, those of you who are inviting your families and friends. Shalom to you all. Shalom to your families. Please do not forget to drop a like on the Midnight Prayer Podcast page on Facebook at Midnight Prayer Podcast and please also subscribe on the YouTube channel and please follow us on Instagram, follow us also on the major streaming platforms to remain up to date with the latest episodes of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Shalom to you all. So dearly beloved, where you are, we are going to begin to pray. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. I declare that Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. I declare that Jesus is Lord over my family, over my home. And I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that God saved me by his grace when I believed. And I cannot take credit for this because it's a gift from God. I declare in the name of Jesus that God saved my family. He saved my home by his grace when we believed. And I cannot take credit for this. It is a gift from God in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that in my heart, I believe that I have been made right with God. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that as I openly declare my faith, I am saved. As I openly declare the faith of my home, of my family, we are saved in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I have the free gift of salvation. My home, my family, we have the free gift of salvation in the name of Jesus. It is not a reward for the good things that we have done, so we cannot boast about it. It is a free gift. It is a reward that we have received from God in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, as his word says, but everyone who calls on his name, they will be saved in the name of Jesus. I declare that as I call on the name of the Lord, I am saved. As I call on the name of the Lord for my family, as I call on the name of the Lord for my home, I declare that we are saved in the name of Jesus. I declare that my old self has been crucified with Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus, my old self, my old nature, he has been crucified with Christ. The old sinful nature, the old worldly desires, he has been crucified with Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. In the name of Jesus, I declare I belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. I declare in the name of Jesus that my family belongs to Christ 
and Christ belongs to God. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my home belongs to Christ and Christ belongs to God. In the name of Jesus, I declare because I belong to him, because my family belongs to him, because my home belongs to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has set us free from the power of sin that leads to death in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, because uh, I belong to Christ, I have become a new person. Because uh, my home, my family belongs to Christ, they have also become new persons. The old life is gone. The new life has begun in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the old life is gone. The new life has begun in the name of Jesus. I declare that God showed his great love for me by sending Christ to die for my sins while I was still a sinner. I declare in the name of Jesus that God showed his great love for my family. He showed his great love for my home by sending Christ to die for them whilst they were sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from his condemnation in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, declare this where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare this where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare since my my relationship since my friendship with God was restored by the death of his son while we were still enemies. We will certainly be saved through the life of his son in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved declare in the name of Jesus Christ declare that your relationship your friendship with God is restored by the death of his son Jesus Christ while we were his enemies. Declare that you are saved through the life of his son Jesus Christ. Declare daily beloved that you you will rejoice in a wonderful new relationship with God in the name of Jesus Christ because Christ has made you a friend of God in the name of Jesus. Declare that I will rejoice in a wonderful new relationship with God because Christ has made me friends with God in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, declare where you are in the name of Jesus Christ that I will not conform to the patterns of this world. I will not follow the rhythm of this world. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I will not be influenced by the patterns of this world in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved declare that your family that your home will not be influenced they will not be influenced they will not conform they will not follow they will not obey they will not obey they will not obey the patterns of this world in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved declare in the name of Jesus that you will not follow the desires of your sinful nature in the name of Jesus Christ your home your family will not follow the desires of their sinful nature in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved declare where you are in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit is guiding me the Holy Spirit is guiding my home the Holy Spirit is guiding my children the Holy Spirit is guiding my family in the name of Jesus Christ declare dearly beloved in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit is guiding you in the name of Jesus Christ declare that you are not under obligation to the law of your origin you are not under obligation to the law of Egypt you are not under obligation to the law of your paternal home or your maternal home or your siblings or friends or partners you are not under obligation to their laws in the name of Jesus declare that you are directed by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus declare that you are free to carry out your good intentions in the name of Jesus declare daily beloved that you will not feed into what your sinful nature craves in the name of Jesus declare daily beloved that you will not feed into what your origin is craving or what your origin is asking for in the name of Jesus daily beloved declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you are created in God's image declare in the name of Jesus that you will produce only fruits of love you will produce only fruits of joy you will produce only fruits of peace in the name of Jesus, declare daily beloved, you will produce only fruits of patience, you will produce only fruits of kindness.
goodness, fruits of goodness, fruits of faithfulness. You will produce only fruits of gentleness. You will produce only fruits of self-control in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved in the name of Jesus Christ. You will only produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved that you will not conform to the patterns of your origin. You will not conform to the patterns of your blood. You will not conform to the patterns of your roots in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved you will not conform to the patterns of your hometown or your place or your place of birth in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved declare in the name of Jesus Christ those who belong to Christ have nailed their passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Declare in the name of Jesus every passion, every desire, every sinful nature that I inherited through my blood, through my father's blood, through my mother's blood, through points of contact, through spiritual deposits. I declare in the name of Jesus that those passions and desires are nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus. That sinful nature is nailed to the cross of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. It has been crucified in the name of Jesus. The old life is gone. The new life has begun in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved, the old life is gone. The new life has begun in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved that you will live by the Spirit. Declare dearly beloved that the Holy Spirit will lead every part of your life. The Holy Spirit will lead every part of your home. The Holy Spirit will lead every part of your family in the name of Jesus. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not conform. You will not obey. You will not succumb. You will not be influenced by the patterns of your origin nor the patterns of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Daily beloved, begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt his name. Begin to glorify his name. Begin to magnify his name. Begin to lift him up in the name of Jesus. Thank him for his greatness. Thank him for his wonderfulness. Thank him for his loving kindness. Thank him for his righteousness. Thank him for his great power and his great strength. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and earth, we exalt you. We glorify you and we magnify you. We lift your name on high, Father, in the name of Jesus, because you are the most high God. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the ending. You are the first and the last. In the name of Jesus Christ, blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your righteous name. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your powerful name. In the name of Jesus, your word says, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that if you are for us, no one can be against us. Father, we thank you for your victory. You have given us in Christ Jesus, your protection. You have given us in Christ Jesus, your mercy, your grace. You have given us in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your loving kindness that you have given us in Christ Jesus. Dearly beloved, begin to pray. The word of God says, all have sinned, have fallen short of God's glorious standard. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done, which is not confess your name. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done, which is not give glory to your holy name. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done, we should not give acclamation to your powerful name. Your word says, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, if we confess our sins, Father, you are faithful and you are just to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, forgive us for the sinful nature, the worldly desires, the youthful pleasures that we allow to dominate us, that we allow to control us, that we allow to use us. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us, Heavenly Father, for the sins, the iniquities, the transgressions that we committed in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, plead and pray for the Lord to have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. For his word says that he is a compassionate God. He is a merciful God. He is slow to get angry. He is filled with unfailing love. For his word says in the name of Jesus Christ that those who belong to him, they must turn away from evil. For his word says that those who hide their transgressions, they will not prosper. But those who turn away from them and abandon them, they shall find mercy before the Lord's sight. In the name of Jesus, Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth earth forgive us lord for our sins forgive us father for our iniquities our transgressions lord in the name of jesus dearly beloved the word says that great is his faithfulness and his mercy begins afresh each and every single morning pray and ask for the lord's mercy to begin afresh in your life pray and ask for his mercy to begin afresh in your home pray and ask for his mercy to begin afresh in your family pray and ask for his mercy the mercy of the living god to begin afresh on your soul and your spirit your body your destiny the destiny 
of your family, the destiny of your partner, your children in the name of Jesus. Pray and ask for the Lord to, for his mercy to come down afresh into your lives in the name of Jesus. His word says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Christ. Plead for the blood that you shed on the cross. Plead for the blood that you shed on the Mount of Calvary to cleanse you, to sanctify you, to purify you, to wash you in the name of Jesus. For his word says, in the name of Jesus Christ, now we are united with Christ Jesus. Once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of the Lamb. The word of God says to us in the name of Jesus that Jesus Christ died for our sins just as God our Father planned from long ago so that he can rescue us from this evil world in which we live in. For his word also says that he entered the most holy place once and for all and he secured our redemption forever. His word says in Christ we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our sins. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you, to wash you, to purify you in the name of Jesus. For his word says we were washed, we were sanctified and we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of our God. Plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, to wash you, to purify you, to sanctify you in the name of Jesus. For his word also says in the name of Jesus Christ that he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son. He purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave our sins. He purchased our freedom from Egypt. He purchased our freedom from our roots, our origins, our blood. He purchased our freedom from our origins in the name of Jesus. Declare daily beloved that he purchased your freedom from your place of slavery and he forgave your sins in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we plead for the blood of Christ to sanctify us, to wash us, to purify us, to cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, begin to invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives so then that you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The word of God says, those who are joined to him are one spirit with him. The word of God says, for the Lord is a spirit and wherever the spirit of the lord is there is freedom invite the holy spirit in the name of jesus invite the holy spirit in the name of jesus invite the spirits of understanding the spirit of jesus christ the spirit of freedom the spirit of grace the spirit of victory the spirit of peace the spirit of joy the spirit of patience the spirit of faithfulness invite him in the name of jesus christ invite the holy spirit where you are the word of god says i'll send the holy spirit just the father promise but stay here in the city until the holy spirit comes and fills you up with power from heaven Say, Holy Spirit, fill me up with your power from heaven in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill me up with your power from heaven. Fill me up with your glory. Fill me up with your grace. Fill me up with your grace. Fill me up with your understanding, your wisdom, your insight, your knowledge, your intelligence, your discernment from heaven in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill me up with your power from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Invite the Spirit of truth. Invite the Spirit of understanding. Invite Him in the name of Jesus Christ daily love begin to pray in the name of Jesus begin to plead for the blood of Jesus Christ inside of your home begin to plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to surround your home begin to plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to be sprinkled in every area and every part of your home in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse your home plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to wash your home plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to sanctify your home plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse your home plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to fill your entire home in the name of Jesus pray daily beloved every plant not planted by our heavenly father every plant which may be representing false gods from our origin which may be representing idols from our origins which may be representing alliances thrones altars from our origins every plant not planted by our heavenly father which may be representing curses condemnations laws from our origins inside our homes plead for the blood of Jesus Christ to begin to paralyze and to begin to destroy those works in the name of Jesus. The word of God says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The beloved plead for the blood of Jesus to begin to paralyze every plant that is planted inside of your home, every item, every instrument, every element, every object, spiritual, physical that is serving as a point of contact that is connecting your home 
to the kingdom of darkness that's connecting somebody in your home to the kingdom of darkness that's connecting you to the kingdom of darkness that's connecting the bedrooms the front room the kitchen the bathrooms the showers the toilets the corridors the gardens to the kingdom of darkness pray in the name of jesus christ for the blood of jesus to cut off that connection in the name of jesus christ plead for the blood of jesus sprinkle the blood of jesus all around your house plead for the blood of jesus christ plead for the blood of jesus christ to flood your whole entire home in the name of jesus plead for the blood of jesus christ to cleanse your whole entire home in the name of jesus plead for the blood of jesus christ at your main door your back gardens the balconies plead for the blood of jesus christ on the roof tops plead for the blood of jesus christ in the kitchen in a front room area plead for the blood of jesus christ all over the corridor in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved every area in my home every section in my home that is occupied by the family spirits that is occupied by the spirits from my origin every area in my home that is occupied by the serpent that is occupied by the spirits of animals the spirits of mermaids the queen of the coast river goddesses queen of the coast serenes every section every part of my home that is occupied or that is connected to spirits from Hades, spirits from sheol spirits from abaddon spirits of the world of the dead or spirits of death every section inside of my home that is connected to spirits of witchcraft spirits of sorcery i declare in the name of jesus christ for the blood of jesus to for the blood of jesus for the blood of jesus to wash that section in the name of jesus and every plant that is planted within that section every plant that is planted within that section every seed every deposit planted in that section every altar every throne planted in that section i pray for the blood of jesus christ to paralyze it to reverse it to destroy it to cut off that connection in the mighty name of jesus the beloved plead for the blood of jesus christ to begin to break off every spiritual connection between your home and the kingdom of darkness every spiritual connection between your home and the spirit of the serpent the spirit of leviathan the spirits of leopards the spirits of lions the spiritual symbol of the authorities in the water the spiritual symbols of the authorities of witchcraft pray in the name of jesus christ every spiritual connection between your home and the kingdom of darkness between your home and river goddesses the queen of the coast mermaids sea monsters crocodiles pray for the blood of jesus christ to break that connection in the name of jesus pray for the blood of jesus christ to break that connection in the name of jesus pray for the blood of jesus christ to break that connection to break that connection to break that connection in the name of jesus declare over your home the word of God says don't team up with those who are unbelievers how can righteousness be a partner of wickedness how can light live with darkness and what harmony can there be between Christ and the devil pray and declare over your home in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says and I don't want you to participate with demons declare over your home in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says let not my soul enter their council let not my honor be united to their assembly declare over your home in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them in the name of Jesus declare over your home in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says what union can there be between God's temple and idols for we are the temple of the living God in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved whatever is planted inside of my home that is representing false gods idols divinities from the water false gods idols divinities from the forest I declare in the name of Jesus Christ I declare in the name of Jesus Christ for those spiritual representations those spiritual symbols occupying my home I command it to drink the blood of Jesus I command it to be soaked in the blood of Jesus I command those spiritual representations those spirits of those authorities the spirits of those rulers the spirits of those animals to be soaked and drenched in the blood of Jesus be soaked and be drenched in the blood of the lamb of Revelations 12 verses 11 in the name of Jesus dearly beloved the word of God says that those who drink the blood of Jesus unjustly they shall be condemned in the name of Jesus command them to drink the blood of Jesus and may the blood of Jesus condemn them may the blood of Jesus condemn their activity in your home may the blood of Jesus Christ condemn their mission inside of your home may the blood of Jesus Christ condemn their activity in your home may the blood of Jesus Christ condemn their mandates in your home in the name of Jesus so can drench them in the blood of the lamb so can drench them in the blood which is shed on the cross so can drench them in the blood 
that you shared on the Mount of Calvary in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare, I will not follow the patterns of this world. Declare, I will not conform to the ways of this world. Declare, I will not be influenced by the patterns or the rules of this world. In the name of Jesus, declare, I will not be influenced. I will not be controlled. I will not be used by the patterns or the rules of this world in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, declare where you are in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not conform to the patterns of this world. Your home, your house will not conform to the patterns of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that you will not conform to the rules or the laws of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare, dearly beloved, I will not use my freedom to satisfy my sinful nature in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature in the name of Jesus. Declare dearly beloved in the name of Jesus Christ that you have been called to live in freedom. You have been called to live in freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare dearly beloved that you have been called to live in freedom. Your family, your home has been called to live in freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that your faith is in Christ. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your faith is in Christ. The faith of your home, the faith of your family, it is in Christ in the name of Jesus. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I will not be tied up again in slavery to the law in the name of Jesus. I will not be tied up again in slavery to the patterns of this world in the name of Jesus. Declare that Christ has set me free in the name of Jesus. Declare that Christ has set me free in the name of Jesus. Declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not fall from God's grace in the name of Jesus. I declare that my home, my family will not fall away from God's grace in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, declare where you are in the name of Jesus Christ that you live by the Spirit. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you live by the Spirit and that your faith is in Christ in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Begin to pray, daily beloved, every seed every deposit, every point of contact that is hiding in your blood, that is walking around, that is walking around, that is moving around in your blood, every seed, every deposit, every point of contact that is inside of your blood, every germ, every germ, every point of contact that is in your blood, every grain in your blood that pushes you to conform to the patterns of this world, that pushes you to serve the patterns of this world, that pushes pushes you to crave your sinful nature, those seeds, those points of contact, those spiritual deposits, those germs, those grains, those plants, daily beloved, that are inside of you, that works as doors that open up so that you can do what your sinful nature craves. Declare in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit is guiding me from this day forth and I will not do what my sinful nature craves. Command those seeds in the name of Jesus Christ to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command every seed, every spiritual deposit, every point of contact in your blood that speaks, do, that forces you to do what your sinful nature craves, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus, every seed, every spiritual deposit, every point of contact that is inside of your blood, that is inside of your blood, that pushes you, that forces you to do what your sinful nature craves, that pushes you to prioritize worldly things that pushes you to prioritize youthful pleasures pray in the name of Jesus command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ the love we pray in the name of Jesus every point of contact every spiritual seed every spiritual deposit that is inside of my blood that pushes me to follow the desires of my sinful nature that pushes pushes me to follow my old self that pushes me to follow the pattern of my origin the pattern of my origin the law of my origin that pushes me to follow the alliance of my origin that pushes me to behave in the ways of my origin that pushes me to behave in a way that will glorify my origin i pray in the name of jesus i command those seeds those points of contact those spiritual deposits to receive fire in the name of jesus command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Command it to receive fire. Command it to receive fire. Command it to receive fire. In the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved. Every seed that is inside of my blood, every point of contact that is inside of my blood, every evil deposit that is inside of my blood, every venom of the serpent, every snake bite of the serpent that is inside of my blood, every point of contact in my blood that pushes me to follow the desires of my old self that pushes me to follow the desires of my origin that pushes me to follow the law of my origin that pushes me to live or behave in a way that glorifies my origin that pushes me to follow the desires of the sinful nature I command those seeds those points of contact those grains those germs to receive fire in the name of Jesus pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove every grain every germ, every seed, every seed, every spiritual deposit that is inside of you in the name of sexual immorality, in the name of impurity, in the name of lustful pleasures, in the name of idolatry, in the name of sorcery, hostility. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove those seeds in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove those seeds in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove every germ, every grain, every point of contact, every evil deposit in the name of jealousy in the name of quarreling in the name of outbursts of anger every point of contact every seed every evil deposit every venom every venom every egg from the serpent that is inside of your blood that is inside of your blood that is screaming selfish ambition that is screaming dissension division envy drunkenness pray in the name of Jesus Christ command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus and declare every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted in the name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire command those seeds to receive fire remove every seed remove every point of contact remove every evil deposit that is inside of your blood that pushes you to do what your sinful nature craves that works as a door that works as a door in your life that makes you make one step forward and a hundred step backwards pray in the name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says but land that produces thorns and thistles is worthless and is in danger of being cursed in the end it will be burned in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says in the name of Jesus Christ he is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork then he will clean up the threshing area gathering up the wheat into his barn but burning the chaff with never-ending fire pray in the name of Jesus I remove every point of contact I remove every evil deposit I remove every seed that is in my blood every germ every grain in my blood every virus in my blood every venom every snake bite every egg from the serpent that's in my blood every seed from spirit husbands or spirit wives in my blood that uh, causes me to follow what the sinful nature craves I remove it I remove it I remove it with the never-ending fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I remove it with the never-ending fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says so every tree that doesn't produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire chop down every tree that is inside of you every tree of immorality tree of impurity tree of idolatry tree of sorcery selfish ambition envy jealousy quarreling anger rage pray in the name of Jesus Christ command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus every tree that does not produce good fruit inside of you dearly beloved every tree in your blood chop it down by fire chop it down by fire chop it down by fire in the name of Jesus Christ chop it down by fire in the name of Jesus dearly beloved burn no seeds in the name of Jesus Christ burn no seeds in the name of Jesus Christ whatever is inside of my blood dearly beloved pray in the name of Jesus Christ command those deposits command those venoms command dearly beloved those eggs command those plants to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus for the word of God says in Matthew 13 verses 40 as the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire so will it be at the end of the age pray in the name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus command those seeds to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus the word of God says God will destroy anyone who destroys this temple for God's temple is holy and you are that temple in the name of Jesus Christ command those seeds to be destroyed by fire
fire in the name of Jesus. Command those seeds to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. For his word says the Lord, the light of Israel will be a fire. The Holy One will be a flame. He will devour the thorns and briars of fire, burning up the enemy in a single night. In the name of Jesus, pray daily, beloved. Every seed, every spiritual deposit, every venom, every snake bite, every egg, every evil germ, every evil grain that is inside of your blood, your paternal, your maternal blood that is inside of you, that screams out, that screams out, that screams out, that you must follow your sinful nature, that screams out the laws of your origin. Remove those seeds, remove those thorns, remove those briars by fire, remove those thistles by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove it by fire, remove it by fire in the name of Jesus. Every seed in my blood, every point of contact in my blood, every point of contact, every spiritual deposit in my blood, every venom in my blood, I command it to be evacuated by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I command it to be evacuated by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I command those eggs to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those eggs to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those eggs to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove those eggs in the name of Jesus. His word says, Behold, they shall be a stubble and the fire shall burn them and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a call to be warmed by nor a fire to sit before in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove those seeds, to remove those points of contact, to remove those evil deposits, to remove those germs, to remove those grains in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray daily, beloved, every seed, every deposit, every grain that has been planted from the alliances of my father's house, that has been planted from the altar of my father's house, that has been planted from the thrones, from the laws of my father's house, that walks around, that travels around, that moves around in my body. I command it to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus. I command it to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, remove those grains, remove those germs, remove it by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command the venom of the serpent to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works. To evacuate those works in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove every point of contact in your blood, every seed in your blood, every evil deposit in your blood, every grain, every germ of the serpent in your blood. Pray daily beloved, every seed that you have received from spiritual marriages that is inside of your blood, that is inside of your blood, that moves around in the name of the law of your origin, that moves around in the name of the law of your origin. Command it to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Then we pray every seed of envy, seed of jealousy, seed of outbursts of anger, of idolatry, of sorcery, every seed of hostility, every seed of lustful pleasures, every seed of impurity, every seed of sexual immorality, every seed of drunkenness, every seed of division, every seed of anger, of rage, bitterness. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to remove those seeds, to remove those evil deposits, to remove those points of contact in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray daily, beloved, every seed that is inside of you that you have inherited from your father, from your mother's blood, every seed that the alliance of your family has planted inside of you so that you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to burn up those seeds in the name of Jesus, to evacuate that venom, to evacuate those eggs, to evacuate those plants in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to burn up that work in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to burn up those works in the name of Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to burn up those works in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. To evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. To evacuate those works in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, dearly beloved, every altar of bow, every share of pole in my father's house, in my mother's house, where my name is registered as a prisoner, where my name is registered as a slave, where my name is registered under the law, where my name is registered for curses, where my name is registered so I can be controlled, so I can be manipulated, so I can be dominated according to the family law. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the power of the blood of the lamb to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the power of the blood of the lamb, the power of the blood that was shed on the cross to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, detach your soul from that altar. Detach your soul from that altar. Detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Detach your soul from that altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, the word of God says that night the Lord said to Gideon, take the second bull from your father's herd, the one that is seven years old, pull down your father's altar to bow and cut down the Asherah pole standing beside it, then build an altar to the Lord your God here on the hilltop sanctuary, laying the stones carefully in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved in the name of Jesus Christ, every altar of bow, every Asherah pole in my father's house, in my mother's house that has registered my soul, that has registered my destiny, that has registered my life according to the family laws, according to the family alliances, according to the family way of life. I pray in the name of Jesus for the blood of the new covenant, the blood of redemption, the blood of the lamb to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the blood of Jesus to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the blood of Jesus to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. I pray for the blood of Jesus to detach my soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, we pray every altar in your origin that is mandated to control you. Every altar in your origin that is mandated to manipulate you. Every altar in your origin that is mandated to dominate you. Every altar in your origin in the form of the serpent, in the form of instruments that is mandated to influence your life or keep you in captivity. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to detach you from that altar in the name of Jesus. The altar which makes you conform to the patterns of this world. The altar which makes you conform to the patterns of your origin, the patterns of your family. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to detach you, to detach your soul, to detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ. Pray for the blood of the Lamb to detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to detach your soul from that altar in the name of Jesus and declare that altar is reversed in the name of Jesus. That altar is reversed in the name of Jesus. That altar is reversed in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says, he has given to me authority over the serpent, over the scorpion, over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, declare that your soul is detached, your destiny is detached from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that your home, your family, they are detached from that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. The altar that has registered you as a prisoner, the altar which has registered you as a slave, the altar which has registered you as a prisoner, the altar which has registered you as a slave, the altar which has registered you as an agent, the altar which has registered you as a person who has been consecrated, as a person who has been enthroned, as a person who has been initiated. Pray for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to detach you from the altar, to detach you from the altar in the name of Jesus. Pray for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of the blood of the Lamb to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the power of the blood of Jesus to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar in the name of Jesus. Pray for the power of the blood of the Lamb to reverse that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says the Lord has promised to give this sign. This altar will split apart and its ashes will be poured out on the ground in the name of Jesus. Pray for the power of the blood of the Lamb to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar, to reverse that altar in the name of Jesus. Declare that your soul is detached in the name of Jesus. For his word says he has appointed us to stand up against 
the nations and kingdoms some we must uproot and tear down destroy and overthrow others we must build up and plant in the name of jesus declare that altar is reversed declare that your soul your destiny is detached from that altar in the name of jesus christ declare that your soul your destiny your spirit is detached from that altar in the name of jesus christ declare the altar planted in my origin will not control me the altar planted in my origin will not manipulate me the altar planted in my origin will not dominate me the altar planted in my origin will not imprison me because the word of god says in christ i have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of my sins and the word of god says this is my blood which confirms the covenant between god and his people it is pulled out as a sacrifice for many in the name of jesus christ declare that your soul will not be controlled your soul will not be manipulated your soul will not be dominated your soul will not be influenced your soul will not remain in captivity according to the patterns of this world in the name of jesus christ declare that you will not conform to the patterns of this world declare that you will not follow the patterns of this world you will not bow down you will not succumb you will not be influenced by the patterns of this world in the name of jesus christ declare every altar in my origin is demolished in the name of jesus the places of worship is destroyed in the name of jesus declare the idols are shattered in the name of jesus declare daily beloved declare daily beloved declare daily beloved that the asherah poles are cut down in the name of jesus the sacred pillars are smashed down in the name of jesus declare that you will not be controlled you will not be dominated you will not be manipulated you will not remain under obligation to the law of your origin in the name of jesus declare that you will not conform to the patterns of this world you will not give in to the sinful nature you will not give in to the sinful nature in the name of jesus christ declare daily beloved in the name of jesus declare daily beloved in the name of jesus declare daily beloved in the name of jesus that you have been called to freedom you have been called to freedom you have been called to live under the freedom of god's grace you have been called to live in victory you have been called to live in your new nature which is to be like christ truly righteous and holy declare that you have been called to live according to the word of god in the name of jesus christ declare that you have been called to live according to the word of god in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved we are going to declare so i'm going to declare and you are going to repeat after me in the name of jesus declare in the name of jesus every throne in my origin every throne in my paternal home every throne in my maternal home every throne transferred into my place of residence or every throne which till this day dominates me in my hometown or in my place of birth or in the houses that I have entered, houses that I have visited, houses that I have slept in, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, those thrones are defeated, those thrones are shattered, those thrones are destroyed, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, the word of God says to me, that Jesus Christ cancelled the records of charges against me, he took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. I declare the thrones of my origin have been shamed publicly by the victory of Jesus Christ that he done over them on the cross. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the laws of my origin have been shamed publicly by the victory that Jesus Christ gave me over them on the cross in the name of Jesus. I declare the pride of princes the kings of the earth you are shattered in the name of jesus christ i declare in the name of jesus the crowns from my paternal home the crowns from my maternal home the crowns from my hometown the crowns from my place of residence or the crown from every house that i have ever entered in my life is shattered in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the word of god says that god performed miraculous signs and wonders in egypt i declare in the name of jesus of nazareth every throne every crown every authority that controls, that manipulates, that dominates me, that imposes me the laws of the alliances, the laws of the covenants of my origin. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, those crowns are now in the dust. Those thrones are now shattered. Those thrones are in the dust. Those princes, those princesses, those kings and those queens are sitting on the ground 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the word of God says in Amos 2 verses 3, I will destroy their king and slaughter their princes, says the Lord. For the word of God says, God is not a man for him to lie. God is not a man for him to change his mind. I declare in the name of Jesus, sin is no longer my master. For I no longer live under the requirements of the law, but I live under the freedom of God's grace. God says I live under the freedom of his grace, so it remains like that. It is so. I live under the freedom of God's grace. I'm going to do the closing prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We exalt you, almighty God, because you are the most high God. We exalt you, almighty God, because you are the Alpha and your Omega. We exalt you, almighty God, because you are the beginning and the ending and you are the first and the last. We thank you, heavenly Father, because man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word which proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. We declare, heavenly Father, that we shall live by your word of victory. We shall live by your word of grace. We shall live by your word of sanctification. We shall live, Heavenly Father, by your word of healing. We shall live, Heavenly Father, by your word of redemption in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall live, Almighty God, by your word which gives life in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, may this word that we have received, Almighty God, be stored in our hearts forever in the name of Jesus. And just as your word says that heaven and earth, Almighty God, will pass away, we declare, Heavenly Father, may your word almighty god which brings life which is in our hearts and never pass away in the name of jesus and may your word never return to you void without it accomplishing what you please in our lives in the name of jesus may your word produce fruits in our families may your word produce fruits in our homes may your word produce fruits in our destinies in the name of jesus christ I pray, Heavenly Father, that this word, Almighty God, which has come out, may it be the lamp to somebody's feet who is following us today. May it be the light to their path, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. And may this word, Almighty God, also be a lamp to my own feet and a light to my own path in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father in heaven, and we exalt you. We praise Father in heaven and we glorify you. Because you said, Almighty God, where two or even three are gathered in your name, you will be there within their midst. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your presence in today's podcast. And we pray, Almighty God, for your divine intervention in the name of Jesus. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we pray every counter-attack following this prayer, every intimidation that the enemy may employ or may use after this prayer. We pray, Almighty God, that it is void, it is useless, it is powerless, and may it return back to them in the name of Jesus. For you said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We declare no bewitchment, no enchantment, no incantation, no power from the water, no power from witchcraft, no power from Hades or the gates of death or the world of dead will prevail against us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. Thank you very much for those of you who joined us. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast by I Am Church London. I was your host, Brother Kevin. May the Lord bless you. Thank you to those of you who are following us on the social media platforms. Thank you to those of you who are also following us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Dearly beloved, please do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to drop a like. Please also invite your families and friends to come and join us again tomorrow at midnight for another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. If you are able to continue praying, dearly beloved, please kindly do so. If you cannot, dearly beloved, I will see you guys tomorrow. May the Lord bless you all. Goodbye.